go over there. Maybe they'll leave a little early for lunch and maybe we'll get all things right. rolling fast. I don't know. I'm assuming that uh, that they. I, I, I'll probably need to call. I'll call in here. Warning that you're coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it'll be intrusive at all. Like I said, it's, if you if you show up there and you get any shots of his shop, he's going to be very happy. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. Oh, okay. I've been there a few times. Did, did you go down in the basement? Uh, no. Oh, it's what something new it? they've done, I guess. But oh. it's like a... What do you call it? A, uh, an exhibition room? Yes, it is. They've cleaned it up, but it's an old... Like a catacomb or something down oh, there underneath the, the floor. And it's, it's a neat place to do an exhibition. Very nice. And that's not um, No, no, they have some uh, Spanish art down there right now. Dan is. They're going to sit. Here. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a dream. I had a dream that this guy was sentenced to death for attempting to commit suicide. On top of a mountain top, I stood in thought one day. Okay, he's in 25. Is he supposed to be in 25? Yeah, is he not there? Well, I know, but there's nobody in, so... Let me check, I don't know. Okay, maybe we can wait for you downstairs. Okay, I'll be in there. the garden. Okay, okay. I'll be it's right there. I got okay. back, yeah. Okay. And when I saw you at that, that gig in, in Switzerland, you were still uh, Daniel Johnston, and now you are Mr. Daniel, Daniel Johnston. Johnston. Now Mr. Johnston. Daniel Johnston. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening between <laughs> Well, if the, you know, uh, it's all it's all promotion, you know. Oh yeah. I mean, when I, I remember when I first came to Austin uh, in 1985, uh, with a traveling carnival, 
I had some tapes with me, and I uh, made some. I had a duplication machine, and I made a, started making copies, and I started handing them out to girls and to to people, anybody that seemed remotely interested in music, you know. And I just kept, kept making copies, and all my money, and McDonald's uh, employment, the extra money I had, and m making tapes. So the first time I, uh, by the first time I uh, played out, uh, I, when I played my first show, everybody that got the tapes was there, you know, and I made posters all over town. And so when I played my first song, yeah, <laughs> burst out applause, man. And, you know, everybody knew who I was. It was great. And then just a few months later, when MTV came to town, I got on the show, the Cutting Edge show. And it was just a phenomenal, you know, rise to fame in just a few months, you know, since Songs of Pain, you know, just a few years, five years since Songs of Pain. And it was quite a uh, rise to fame, you know, to, to me, it seemed like quite an accomplishment. And, uh, and I was proud. <laughs> so, and um, the new album's title is Fear Yourself. Mm -hmm. um, what, is, what is the fear in yourself? Well, it, I was sitting there one time drawing some pictures and I was uh, pretending like I was making up a game show, you know, like people would be on a game show, like, you know, fear yourself, you know, <laughs> like they'd sit down and start talking about themselves, you know, and, and then they would fear themselves or something, and, you know, and, and you know, if they went over the border or something, like they'd, uh, you know, die or something, or if they're right or wrong or something, I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> but it's sort of like, uh, you know, it's like if you if you're on like the borderline, you know, I mean, uh, you know, it's like you know, whatever you say comes from the depths of yourself, you know, and if you say things that you know are a little bit scary sometimes, or you hear your friends say things that are a little bit on the borderline, you say, hey man, you better fear yourself, man. Hey, hey, hey baby, you better fool you. like fear warning. yourself, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, so. I was looking at your drawings last night, mm -hmm. and I, I was well. I, I already knew them, but I was mm -hmm. um, surprised by all the um, open skulls you like to draw. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking to myself, well, is there something good with having a, an empty head? Yeah, yeah. You think well, so? Well, I don't, I don't know. I just I, um, uh, you know, just like an empty head, like you always start out new, you know. Instead of having all, everything, everything that you. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Somebody just called. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, yeah, just having an empty head or like an open mind, you know. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, that was the, the good. The good characters are, are like this. Yeah. And it seems like the bad characters have multiple eyes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like well, it's like the innocent innocence if you see just what's there. You know, what just what's presented. You know, but like the evil eye sees more, sees more what what's there and what isn't there. You know, like they see everything. Well, they think they see more than that's there. You know, so that's evil to see. You know, you know, you know, see seeing things that aren't there, seeing things seeing evil in things, you know, more than what's there. It's, that's, that's not really fair to everyone, you know, to see evil in people when it's not really there. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you know what I mean? So, you know, so that's, that's, that's when you see more than what's there, I think. When you have too many eyes, you know, you, you're too busy, you know, and you just, uh, you know, see more than what's there, you know. And do you think there's a, an internal fight between good and evil? Because it's always in your drawings, more than you, more than in your songs. Yeah, uh -huh. it's yeah, good like and evil. You know, that's why I think a lot about uh, you know uh, Jack Kirby comic books. Uh -huh. and, you know, good versus evil, like Captain America okay. versus yeah. the Red Skull. You know, and and uh, you know, and, and the Incredible Hulk. You know, uh, against all his foes. You know, in the comic books. You know, and uh, how you know someone good, how much of a difference that can make, and how much. Uh, Everyone depends on someone good, like Superman, you know, uh, you know, like Lois Lane, oh, Superman, help me, you know, and he's there right away, you know, and uh, everybody depends on him, you know, so, you know, and how much difference someone can make by just being good, because when, when someone's bad, how much trouble that can make, you know what I mean?
someone's bad, they just walk in the room and they just want to start trouble. And it's, <laughs> you know, so you know, you know, they just they just want to start trouble in there. You know, they, you know, and they, you know, even, and, until they reach celebrity status. They, you know, they they're celebrities for starting trouble. You know. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, what about all, all the all the bodies you you, you draw with without head or limbs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, you know, it's like ancient ancient sculpture. That is exactly where I got it. The torso is, is where I got the uh, uh, from ancient Greek sculpture is where I got that. Uh -uh. Uh, like, like uh, the, excuse me. The Venus, the Milo, or something. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And how how do you choose um, the subjects of um, either your drawings or your songs? I just start to uh, yes, the same thing. Do you dream thing. a lot before? Or? You dream a lot. <laughs> I just start I just start to, you know sketching and you know or you know as part of the song I'll start just banging on a chord and start you know blah blah blah. <laughs> and it comes yeah. and just you know but you know there's like a million times of blah blah before I ever get a real song you know. <laughs> So you know, so it's like I'm always trying to get a song, but you know, every once in a while I, I do finish the song. You know, so, <laughs> you know, so I'm just sitting there goofing around all the time. You know, and uh, you know, I'm lucky if I do get a song. <laughs> and did you try to try be, uh, before to organize your your drawings like a like comics book with a story and things, or you you, you know, it's like an album of uh, uh, it's a collection of songs, but it's some uh, in some way it's organized with a beginning and an end. And with your drawings, it looks more like it's uh, only uh, you can you can um, it's one by one, and there's no um, storytelling. Yeah, the, the, uh, the storytelling. Uh, you know, I, I really do um, miss the Beatles. Uh, you know, I, I I decided to um, I was so Beatleized, you know, to the max for so long. I thought, well, I'll take a break from the Beatles, and I just feel like a baby. You know, in a lost carriage in the middle of a field or something <laughs> since I've stopped listening to the Beatles and uh, and and I really miss the Beatles a lot and I've been trying to listen to other groups and I'm just lost I don't know what to do <laughs> but the Beatles you know they told stories like the White Album and all the different kind of songs that they had they tell stories and you know, and then they had different kinds of songs and everything and and uh, and uh, there's so many, so many great groups. I also like Elton John, Elvis Costello. Uh, oh, there's so many different people that I like. You know, Neil Young. You know, uh, so the, you know, there's a lot of different people I like. I like John Prine. Yeah. 
Tag on it? No, no, no. Let's put the rack back on or go back? Yes. Pay for it inside? Yes. We'll yeah. give you tickets. Okay. You okay.
What's in that shop over there? More comic books? Uh, this way. Yeah. Across the street, yeah. Comics More book in, uh, comic in book? English, yes? Yes. yes. There. Okay. Now this is a comic that I had when I was a kid. It was one of my favorite comic books. <coughs> yeah. I just look at it forever. You know how you are when you're a kid, you have something, you just look at it forever. You know, this is one of those things. And I got a bunch of uh, really cool monster comics for five, six dollars. Stay back, don't you recognize me? I'm your <laughs> husband. Thor, <laughs> how dare you invade the tower of solitude as guardian? Uh, look at how you must face the storm giant's rage. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, darling, please. It's the night of the full moon. And you gotta get out of here before the werewolf starts again. But darling, I am the werewolf. <laughs> Cape to oblivion. This is one cover I hadn't seen. But Captain America is, you know, my favorite art. My favorite superhero, and so I end up drawing. I keep trying to draw, you know, from Captain America, from Jack Kirby comic books, you know, but but Captain America is my favorite. So, you know, I, I'd like to, you know, I, I keep practicing. I'd like to be professional enough someday to do really great, you know, at drawing Captain America, to really do professional enough to really mm. draw from Marvel comics and do my Captain America, you know. That's my dream, you know, but I know I'm amateur, you know. But, uh, you know, but like I said, I sell those drawings and it's unbelievable how much cash I can get. You know, you know, I get like 400 a week, you know, and I can go down and more buy more you, comic books. More than with your music? You're, with you're with my drawings, yeah. My music is zilch. Oh, yes. I mean, I can write song, I can write a song, but no money is still, it, there's no money. Nothing happens, but I draw a drawing and I can get $400 a week, oh, yes. you know, just drawing. But money, I write a song, I look around, no money, but nobody there. But how do you there. sell them? By the internet? Uh, yeah, the internet and my dad pays cash is how I get it. Oh, you you, you, you sell them he, to I, I sell them to my dad and he sells them oh. to different priorities. In the, okay. And uh, the way it adds up and I can, you know. So when you need, need cash, you only have to do That's it right, that's right. Drawing. And I'm that's drawing great. all the time because mm. of it. But in the meantime, I'm getting better at it and, you know, and, And so, you know, I just hope that someday, you know, I can work professionally, you know. But I've got to start writing again, you know. I miss it, you know. In the comics, he was jumping through the air. He was picking up tanks and throwing them. He was being chased by helicopters, uh -huh, bullets uh -huh. bouncing off him. Everything, Everything in the comics, he was doing great. I thought that is a great, going to be a great movie. Uh -huh. It looked great. 
No, it's 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 not out uh, yet. Not officially, yeah. yeah. It should be should be out real soon. Yeah, in a few weeks. And I heard it was doing really good in the box offices. So. And did you like uh, Spider-Man? Oh yeah, Spider-Man was great. It oh. was, yeah. And I uh, saw the X-Men. The new X-Men movie was all right. It was so insane though when Wolverine brought up those blades in his hands you know uh -huh, uh -huh. and killing people and he even killed a girl with blades in her hands and I goes oh that's gross man that violence is like yikes you know probably painted this died this the next day he was feeling a little bit better I think and he had bowel movement this explains the, the suffering of mankind what do you think Looking 